Welcome to Polytheism 3, Part 2, its conclusion. Now, as we continue to move in the earth and go forth, we fight against these, these beings. Not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers that's in the air. Okay, as we go forth in this, we can see the different hideous beasts because some angels were even sore to look upon with your eyes. And these are not mythological, nor was the pantheon of gods, of the Dodecantheon, the 12 Olympus gods. Those were fallen foes. Those were other offsprings. And it may be the first generation because they still had their supernatural powers, their supernatural abilities to deceive man and the earth to worship them. This is what they wanted. They tried to take over the earth, another treasonous effort, you know, to obstruct the works of God, what he did in the earth. And as they tried to continue to do this, because we have many different generations, because we don't know how long this was continuing of the offsprings in the many generations, because the first round, probably to the third, first round of the hybrids, it was difficult to kill them because you have the celestial and the terrestrial and it was difficult to kill, to kill them. So that's why God created a flood because it was so corrupt. This was the only way that was gonna, this, this was gonna wipe everything, just cut everything off the earth. But mind you, even though God destroyed it all, save one Noah, it's, uh, these things will come back <laughs> in a supernatural realm. I know I keep saying this over and over, maybe because it needs to be said, because we're dealing with these now. Now, the save one Noah built the ark, and this, now here go the cries. Now they see what was going on. Now their eyes are open because they was in full deception, the men that was upon the earth. And they're sitting there saying, Noah built this ark, what, over 120 years? All this time, and he was a preaching to them. Although Noah was on, the, although Noah was saved, there was some animals that were saved that was not corrupt, because those would be the same animals that would join, that God would select to go upon the earth I mean, pardon me, upon the ark with Noah. So those animals were not corrupt nor, de nor defiled in any way. So everything was time framing here. So God got all these selected ones he wanted on this ark that was not corrupt, and you know, with Noah and his family. Because like I said, like I reiterate during the teachers and studies, the book of Enoch and the book of Jasher, as well as the Bible, the Holy Grail, it, it shows us as we read and study that the angels genetically altered the race of man with the animals, then they influenced the animals to interbreed with themselves. So that's how we get all these hideous creatures. And also, we have to know that these hideous creatures exist because we could find those creatures as well. But I believe the good ones, because we have them in Ezekiel, when Ezekiel was describing them, Daniel was describing them, you know, the different forms and how they, how they look. And also we could find in the Bible, Leviathan, the dragon, the unicorn, the behemoth, we find these different creatures 
in the Bible. So there, there's no myth, mythology about it, no folklore. These things are real. Satan's true thing is to get us to believe that these things do not exist and they do. And we fight them now. Those things that was manifested in the earth back then when the fallen angels came down into the daughters of men manifested these different evils, these twin evils, corruption and violence. And not only that, blood was filled throughout the earth. It was showering with blood. Because of the different battles that was going on, the different eating of blood, cannibalism, it was in total chaos. What God created was come up to be utterly destroyed. But thank God for Noah and those few animals, the selected animals that God had chosen to go upon the ark. Like I said, everything was done in timing. And even so much when men had forsaken God and Noah preaching unto them for them to turn from their ways, they still was blind until the very end when the rain came down, the flood, the deluge. Now they was crying out to the Lord, but to no avail because it was only those that was going to go upon the ark who God selected Noah and his family and those selected animals. So, whew. now stay tuned for Polytheism 3, part 3, the conclusion.